Pressure is mounting on the state government to reject the proposed $9 billion east-west road tunnel after the Melbourne City Council last night dropped its support for the project and called for more rail services instead. Anti-tunnel campaigners say they've won a battle but not the war. The main voices behind the vote against the tunnel are hailing the vote as a major milestone in their fight. We hope the government will take note of that. If, uh, if however, it comes to it, uh, we will fight for this park uh, metre by metre and tree by tree. Melbourne City Councillors last night endorsed a report that advises against the 18-kilometre tunnel, part of a transport strategy proposed by Sir Rod Eddington linking the eastern freeway to the western suburbs. Initially, the Melbourne City Council supported a tunnel, but have rejected the east-west tunnel. Among the objections is using JJ Holland Park and Royal Park for construction. Instead, it's calling for more public transport options. It was a very strong message from community, and uh, we've come into line with what community wants. As well as the growing public pressure, the Lord Mayor John So took into account rising petrol prices, climate change and concerns over congestion. Up until this point in time he's been a supporter, uh, but the public needs to keep his eye, their eye on him. While Council has opposed the east-west tunnel, it's thrown its full support behind another of Eddington's proposals as a way of easing congestion, the North-South Rail Link. Protesters say the vote sends a strong message to the Brumby government. It will be... Uh, I think um, an area where there's a lot of public views, a lot of controversy, a lot of debate. The government is expected to make a decision in November. Keeva Matheson, ABC News.